Hey, fidgets! My name is Flagpole today. Once again, happy Pride, everyone. Just want to let you guys know that. Hey, guys. Future Frederick here. No, I'm not bald. My man bunch is hiding in the hat. I forgot to say this in the video, and I'm really mad. But don't forget, I now have Pride merch. We have hats, hoodies, pins. But I don't have that on me right now. They're selling only this month, so you best get them while you can't- oh, Why do I fucking look like a gay intern at like an office? I asked you guys on Twitter for some pride video ideas. And one of you told me to paint my face rainbow. Now, I know I paint on this channel. Never has my canvas been my face before. I've done a little bit of makeup, like some foundation, concealer, mascara, just like a tad. And you guys expect me to make a clear- pride flag on my face. I don't know why you want to see a fail video, but the people have spoken. Thank you so much for recommending this. I'm so grateful for an audience that wants my skin to break out. By the way, if my skin does break out, you're all fucking accountable, okay? Every one of you. By the way, I'll leave the link to this in the description if you want to try this yourself. Sorry, I just took a look at the camera and realized that I looked white. Deepest apologies if you could not tell I was in fact Asian. This costs, I think, like under $20. It comes in 12 shades and a bunch of these stencils and Instantly, you know these are for children. Oh my god, it's winter time. Oh, it's spring. Oh my god, animal lover. Ooh, oh actually, I'll keep this one. It's for gays. I'm one with nature. So yeah, one out of the five stencils I'll keep. The other four, I don't know if this came with instructions because I opened this like a week ago. So I probably threw them out knowing me. But since when does an Asian take the time to read instructions, right? When we bake, we bake with our eyes. This comes with three... <laughs> I'm gonna be honest right now. I don't know what I was expecting, but these are not good quality. I'm not a professional painter, but just feeling these, you know they'll fall off. There's gonna be some hair bristles on your face after a few minutes. Which is okay, like for $20 you get all of this stuff. It was 4.5 stars on Amazon, so... I'm hoping it's not an oil spill. I have oily skin and I used an oil-based face paint last time. Let's just say I was scared to show my face to the public. But for the sake of the video, I will use these just because all the other paintbrushes I've used have been in, you know, toxic chemicals that could probably harm my skin and give me cancer knowing them. Cause you read off of these, this product contains chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive harm. Why am I doing this again? Why did I let you guys do this? I blame you. I also have some gay stickers that we might use later. So, let's get started! This is worth every penny. If you want to buy it, I'll link that too. Okay, so I know I bought water-soluble paint. I'm gonna get a spray bottle first before we do anything. Alright, found a spray bottle, and let's just see what colors we're gonna use today. Every paint pot has its own capsule, but I'm looking at this, and kind of concerned. There's like some spots on here that I don't understand why they're there. Like it's not just me, right? You see that? You see that? It's on some of them. This one too. I don't think it's bacteria. Uh, at least I hope it's not because I'm not a scientist and I don't know what this looks like. I did leave this in the sun so I'm just thinking in my mind that maybe the sun's UV rays are so powerful that it just made spots? I don't fucking know, okay? Whatever. If my face gets ruined though, some of y'all gonna pay for the acne treatment I gotta buy after. Cause that stuff costs money. Costs cash money, okay? Green. Something I don't have a lot of cause I'm going to college. Okay, so let me zoom you in a little bit. Let's get nice and personal. Ooh! Okay, she's a little shiny. I told you I had oily skin, but I wanna first map out all the colors I'm gonna use. So we're gonna go Roy G. Biv, and I don't know why they didn't choose to make it in the rainbow construct. It's a really random setup, don't you think? We're basically gonna put this over my face like this. So let's get started. I'm just gonna spray the red a little bit, get it wet. And by the way, everything else is capsuled so it doesn't get wet while we're doing this. So I'm taking the really plastic brush. I'm gonna use my phone for this, not the camera. I just wanna see like one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna stop it right there. See that? That's gonna be a marker for us. All right, let me paint the whole line across now. Hmm, it's not straight, fitting. Let's just 
go down the line first to make sure they're all even. Orange is next, so I'm gonna try to keep this the same length. Put it right there. Oh god, how am I gonna put this around my eye? Okay, we'll figure that out along the way. <laughs> I need a real mirror, so give me a second. When I say this is the biggest mirror I have, it's the biggest. It look, it doesn't even cover my whole face. Wow, that looks terrible. Hold on. I'm accustomed to a flat canvas, so this is a. This is a big step out of my comfort zone. So, that much, that much. I'm gonna look right here. Looking good. By the way, this is a lot of paint. I don't know how I'm ever gonna use this all up. If you want more face painting videos, let me know. So I think I'm gonna go right to, I'm gonna go right above my cupid's bow. <gasps> I have to paint my lips. Hold on. Okay, we're good. I do not want people to know I have really chapped lips, but what does it matter? There's no one to kiss them with. Sorry, that was very angsty. I, I'm calm. Blue goes to here. Oh, Bang. These are pigmented. If you ever wanted high coverage foundation that isn't tan or the traditional colors, use face paint, okay? All right, there's some extra blue on here, so I'm gonna need I'm way too lazy, I'm sorry. Purple is last, so- Oh wait, why am I even painting this then? Hold on. It's a little too close for my comfort. But yeah, I don't need to line the purple, so I'm just gonna put as much as I can right here. Alright, so we're good. Everything has been outlined. Now we're gonna take this brush and paint in the rest. I have no idea if this is non-toxic to the eyes. We're gonna find out pretty soon. So let's go back to red. So it's not that pigmented as I wanted it to be. Slather this all up. Okay, my hair is getting in the way. I just need to tie it all up. I can't leave the strands that I purposely dropped just because I wanted that messy bun look because I'm that bitch. You can't see this, but I'm like a Teletubby. So while I'm doing this, I want to answer some questions about, you know, my sexuality. Because I do get a lot of comments from you guys, especially younger people who have questions about LGBT things. <laughs> oh, it's like tightening my face. Ooh, face mask. I came out in October of my ninth grade year, so freshman year, but I knew I was gay since third grade because I always envisioned myself with a boy and a girl, and I would be like, yeah, girls are pretty, but I'd rather kiss a boy. It's just something that you don't really think too much about. I mean, like, I don't think straight people think about dating the same sex every day. Most guys don't sit down and go, hmm, I wonder if cock is good. You know, it's just not something you have to think about. It's just kind of like in your mind. This is also getting into my hair, but it's water soluble, so I don't mind. So I came out of ninth grade to my best friend, Eliza. It was on a bus and she was really supportive of it. Then when I came out to the rest of my friends, they all just said like, oh, I knew already, Frederick. But once again, everyone is supportive. At the time I lived in South Carolina, which is really weird because you wouldn't expect the South to be, you know, gay friendly. But at least in my area, they were, because I lived in Charleston, and that's more the democratic part of it. It's also the fact that I'm kind of delusional, so like homophobic comments probably didn't even go through my ear. Now, people often ask me, how did you come out? Or like, I'm gay, and I really want to come out, but I don't know how, so any tips? The thing is, I don't want to tell someone how to come out, because they don't feel right trying to give the right way of coming out, because there is really no right way. Everyone has a different experience, and I just feel wrong trying to take your coming out experience away from you because everyone should know that you don't come out for someone else they come out for themselves so i don't want to do that to you i will however tell you that you shouldn't rush it do when you're ready know the consequences that could happen watch like 5,000 coming out videos on youtube they're everywhere and this sounds sad but you should prepare for the worst i'm gonna wash this out by the way so i'll be right back so if you ever expect me to tell you like how exactly to come out just know that i'm not gonna do that to you i'd rather you be mentally prepared than physically prepared to like make a rainbow cake or know what to say because it doesn't really matter about that what matters most is how you feel doing it everyone is allowed to be scared to do it obviously but you want to be comfortable saying it and not feel pressured yet. Hope that makes sense. Anyways, I'm almost done with the red. I'm putting a second layer on just because I want that 
pigment. But first impressions of this paint, it's pretty good. It is a little drying, but I really like that. Anything that isn't oil-based, I prefer. Now, do I cover my brows or not? Is it even possible for me to cover my brows? I don't know. We'll try it out. We'll see. But I don't expect much from... Yeah. Yeah, I would not expect paint to be able to cover a brow. You know, maybe instead of covering it, we make them really dark. Let me do that. Because there is black face paint in there, and I can use that later. Okay, so I'm going to just paint around my brow for the time being. Yeah, not really excited to um, cover my whole eye with this. But I said I'd paint my face a rainbow, which means I must not leave any skin unpainted. This orange is also really close to my skin tone, so that is not helping because I need it to pop more. All right, so I'm gonna go in. Ooh. Oh, that's very close to my eye. Oh my God, nothing is burning yet. That's good news. Get that inner corner. Ugh. Okay, I got there, I got there. <laughs> <laughs> I look so stupid right now. Okay, so for once in my life, my monolid eye is being useful because I don't have to paint directly on my... Wherever you put eyeliner, I don't have to paint there. So I'm protecting my eye a little bit, at least. Doing a second layer of the orange now. Okay, so my opinion on the orange remains the same. It is not that pigmented. I wonder if using a sponge is easier. We're not gonna try that today. All right, orange is done. I look fucking stupid. Let's move on to yellow. For those of you who don't know, yellow is actually my favorite color at the moment. So this better be the prettiest yellow I've ever seen or else I'm gonna be very mad. Shoot, I have to go under my waterline. Oh my God. Oh, it's a good yellow. Sorry, I'm very passionate about this color. It just really makes me mad sometimes when people think that Green yellows are a good color. No, no, don't do that. It looks like puke. It's not a cute look, so just don't do it. Holy crap. Is that an ice cream truck? Excuse me, I'm busy. Under eyes, very... Ah. I always get uncomfortable there because... Well, first of all, it feels terrible. I just don't understand how people are able to shove a brush up your under eye. You're basically asking to gouge out your eye. I'm also scared for the eye bags because if this is actually as drying as it is, someone's gonna look crusty already at 17 years old. This is also very hard to make sure that these lines are straight. Ugh, I love stretching out my under eye. I just love pulling on that sensitive skin. This is also very hard to make sure that the lines are straight because of the contours of my face. Damn, I look stupid. Ugh, y'all are gonna make a fool out of me on Twitter. Every single one of you guys who has a That Midget Asian meme account, fuck you. All right, so I'm going in with my Morphe F84 69 420. Please pay me 70K thousand for this video. And I'm going under my eye just because we want this to be a little more pigmented. Ow! Ugh. I hate doing makeup and painting. This is like the worst video combined. You just gotta remember how to be doing this for the gays. I'm doing this for the gays. Y'all better be grateful. Y'all better be gayful and grateful that I'm doing this video. <sighs> okay, I honestly have to know now. I'm gonna get a mini beauty blender and I wanna see if I can make this full coverage by using a sponge. This is my mini beauty blender. Her name is Stacy. I got it from Urban Outfitters if anyone is curious. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the red because that should be dry now. I'm also not worried about the paint getting on the beauty blender just because it's water soluble. I'll wash it in hot water, calm your tits. I'm just gonna stamp this on to see if it can't get a little more full coverage. Let me test it on my arm to see if it's doing anything. Hmm. At least it's showing up somewhere. A few minutes later. So I don't think this is doing anything. I'm going to try the orange next. Also that washed out really fast. There we go. That is what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna go in with the yellow next. Wait, gotta look up. Honestly, at this point, I feel like it's taking off more product than it's putting on. So beauty blender idea. Oh, I just dropped it into the fuck guys. I dropped it in there. I just think it's the brush that I'm using because it's not a good quality brush. So I'm gonna take this that I have not used before. I'm just gonna try one more time and I'm gonna see if I can't fix this yellow because it's just not pigmented. Like, come on, we need you yellow. 
Well, I will admit this is much faster with a bigger brush. Something about this yellow just doesn't want to layer with me. And I don't know what I did to deserve that. I've only been kind to you. I've raised you for many months, and this is what you're gonna do to me? Okay, I think that's a little bit better. Also, that's a little too low. I need to wipe that off. Just wet the brush and go over that part just to erase some of it off. Because I don't need that energy in my life. That honestly worked way better than I expected, and I'm looking like a... A really bad sunset. That's what I'm looking like. Okay, I'll add more layers if I have to to the yellow, but we gotta move on now. Moving on to green. What the fuck? Why is that so much more full covered? Okay, so pro tip. Don't put too much water. You don't want it to be watery. You want it to be a little bit more thick. That is what gets you the full coverage. Yes, subtle. Do I get my ears too? That's not part of my face. Never mind. Oh! I think that was too much. Oh, oh. Well, looks like I have to add more yellow again. What is a green character? Cause I'm really starting to feel some type of way. I feel like the Grinch who stole Christmas. I feel like a leprechaun who just found a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Like orange made me feel like the Lorax. Yellow made me feel like myself. We're starting to evolve into different types of characters now. But that being said, where are the red characters at? I can't think of any right now. Let me know. Like what shows and movies have there been characters that are pure red? Besides like the Steam Universe, that doesn't count. I'm talking about a whole group of people who are all red. I need Avatar in red version. Thank you very much. Okay, we're gonna go back to the yellow one more time. This went from a nice pink to a brown. Okay. Yellow's gonna be a mess, so I'm gonna let that dry fully. When I'm done with purple, I'll go back to it. But now it's time to go into the blue. I'm ready to turn into Avatar. Ugh, so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, um, you can unsubscribe after that comment. Don't know why you would watch me after this. Huh, that covered my lips like really quickly. And I just got it on my neck a little bit, oh well. Not part of the face. Hold on, I want to see what it looks like if I just block out my top lip. Put on like lipstick, everyone. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Let's keep going. Yeah, Avatar. Blue is beautiful, holy crap. Oh shoot, it's starting to lean a little bit. I will fix that. Yeah, so I need more blue on this side, more green on this side. Oh damn, this blue is so pigmented. Y'all complaining about blue eye shadows? Just try this. All right. <laughs> I look like the blue man group. Oh my god. I don't want to taste it. I'm not going to taste it. Alright, so we're going to go back into the green a little bit. Get this part down. So I needed more on this side. That did not cover it at all. Hold on. No, 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 no. Dry this off now. Ugh. Ugh. See, it's always green. It's always green that messes up the fucking painting. That is why green is my least favorite color to this day. My pores are crying right now. I can hear them. Okay, purple. We're almost there. Hold on, wait. Let me just close my eyes for now. Oh, it's a flag. I only had a flag back there. Ooh. All right, let's see purple. Don't let me down. This purple's cute, but I wish it was a little darker. Okay, we're gonna do one more layer of purple and that should be it. And I guess we're done. All you have to do is add some finishing touches to it. I'm sorry, I love doing that face to people. Ready, ready, ready? Oh, Frederick, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you for asking. I look like a Snapchat filter, honestly. Wait, okay, hold on, I wanna take a picture of this because this is hilarious right now. I did that. Actually, no. I said I would make my eyebrows really black, so we're gonna do that right now. Now, how pigmented is this black? Oh! I do not have room to mess up here. Oh, she's, oh, she's very thick. That's not my natural brow, but what is natural on my face right now? We're allowed to be as dramatic as we want. All right, I'm done. Actually, I'm not done. I'm not done yet. Where are my stickers? 
Where? Oh, there they are. So now I'm done. All right. I did the job. Um. Gay. Are we twinning? Oh my god. <gasps> That's weird. These are actually the same colors. Guys, I did it. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. Hey guys, future Frederick back again. I forgot to say this at the end of the video, which I'm editing right now, by the way. But I did say, but I did say I would mention one of your coming out stories that you gave to me through Instagram, YouTube, or Twitter, just to encourage other people to come out and be themselves because I believe that you should be prideful during Pride Month, obviously. But I want you to be comfortable in your own skin. So if you feel like you want to come out through the internet at first, just to get a feel of what it's like, leave a comment down below because a lot of you guys, like y'all made it clear that my community is LGBT. I did not expect that many people. But with that being said, I'm now going to talk about this person who I'm not going to say or reveal their username for the sake of privacy reasons. We're gonna read their coming out story. I came out to my best friend through a song I composed and she was just laughing and supportive, love her. And I came out to my parents by waiting till they were asleep and wrote a message about how I was pansexual. But that didn't change me and how I love them. And in the morning, they both came into my room separately, crying and telling me they love me. I'm grateful to have such a supportive family. I've got a huge family, so even though I came out about three years ago, I still have questions and some people still haven't caught on somehow, but I'm yet to be ill-treated. I'm so lucky to have such a loving, I can't read. I'm so lucky to have such a loving and accepting family. And this is the picture she wanted to send me. Looking cute with the yellow flower, I approve. However, I'm taking off two points because you spelled accepting wrong. Grammar police, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your story with me and everyone else on the internet. All right. I'm out. If you enjoyed, give it a like. Leave a comment down below about what Pride video you want me to do next. Pray for my skin, please. Buy Pride merch, be prideful. Subscribe for more videos every Saturday slash Sunday. And as always, I love you guys and everything is less than three. Now you can watch this video while I go clean up and get acting forever. Are you still watching?